Hey guys, welcome to update number two of this little game. Um, it's been in production for I'd say nine or ten days now. So um, we now have a menu and uh, you can control your character in the menu. Just uh, to get to get to grips um, with the character you know, before you start the game. And then over here we've got you know, all the usual buttons, play, options, credits and quit. Um, the only one that does anything at the moment is the play button. If you click that, then obviously it will take us to the game. And uh, right over here you can see the first new thing is this uh, swinging log spike thingamajoggy. Um, don't really have a good name for it at the moment. Um, so let's see if we can time this correctly. Oh, that was terribly timed. <laughs> um, okay, as it's swinging this way, we can jump and really quick. Mm. Okay, not quick enough. Let's see. So close. Okay, I'm just I'm jumping a little too high. Let's see. Okay, that was completely wrong. This time we'll get it. Okay, we won't, but this time we will. Definitely, I can tell. Hmm. Okay, before this gets even more embarrassing, I am going to uh, just <laughs> cheat a little bit. I'm just going to skip past him. Um, it's not necessarily difficult, I don't know what I'm struggling with. Uh, just being a bit silly, I guess. Um, so the next thing are these uh, spike shooters. Um, so as you get close to them, they'll start flashing and then shoot the spikes. So, um, well, the next thing, well, you've seen this before. This is just the spike blade. And, oh, as you can see, there are upgraded build of blood effects. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a pretty graphic game. Oh, and these guys don't regain their spikes yet. i got to fix that. Um, okay, let's hmm, time that. Nicely, there we go. And we'll just kick our old dead body into the spikes just for fun. And let's jump over. So we've got another swinging thing, but this time we can't jump over it because then we'll just land in the spikes there. So we'll slide under it. And now we get to another challenge the double saw blades. So the only way to get through these is to time a air roll properly. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, so close. Oh, okay, I'm going to just put my spawn right over there, just so that I don't have to go through all of that again. Um, I hope I haven't put myself on the spikes. No, nope, that was correct. Um, it seems the animation didn't trigger there, so uh, let me just, yeah, okay, I'll fix whatever bug that was. Um, but yeah, you jump through it with this awesome air roll thing. Huh. It's interesting, the animation's not triggering properly sometimes. Anyway, um, next up is a security camera thing. So obviously if you get in its line of sight, you can tell something bad's going to happen. So let me get in its line of sight, and yep, you die. So let's avoid that this time. So as you get to the end of the level, um, you'll see these blocks. Uh, made up of little boulders and they look kind of precarious and that's because they are as you land on them they'll disintegrate let's hop over here and we will reach our first checkpoint so if we were to die now we would come back over here which is handy so these blocks here disappear as you get close to them so you kind of got to remember where they where they were or are and not really <laughs> Sure, which one's correct? Okay, now I've got no idea what this guy is. I think he's about here. Um, yep. Nah. Whew. Okay, now over here we have this creepy little guy crawling along. Ah, uh, he spotted me, so now he gets kind of aggro. Um, I'm just gonna aggravate him some more, I guess. Why not? Ah. 
And yeah, he'll eventually catch up to you and he'll kill you. And he jumped back to his initial position there. Um, again, just more things that I gotta fix, but it's fine. We'll get to that sometime. And uh, obviously you can kill him with some sort of, well, just by swinging your sword at him. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that was quite a mess. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get him this time. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so he doesn't splash or anything at the moment. He will, don't worry. He'll splatter. But um, at the moment he just disappears. So... A few more things that I've got to say about this game are uh, that in the end it will be randomly generated, the levels. Um, so, well, I mean, because it's an endless runner, you know, I can't, um, can't just sort of sit here and, and create an infinite number of challenges that would just be ridiculous. So, yeah, there's that. And secondly, the, um, the game is called Malice at the moment. So the reason that it's called Malice is because I have decided that this whole land here is called Malice because, you know, it's evil and it wants to kill you. So I think Malice is a pretty apt name. And uh, yeah, so if you have any suggestions, feedback, or random rants or whatever, just post them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Or you could go over to the Unity forums. There'll be a link in the description to my Unity page. And you could uh, post your feedback there. And you could look at more frequent updates there. If that's the kind of thing that you'd be interested in. So yeah. Anyway, I will see you uh, in the next video. And happy April Fool's Day, I guess. This whole game isn't an April Fool's joke. That would be a little bit elaborate. But uh, yeah, bye.